Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Yakima accessory bar for your Yakima off-grid roof cargo baskets. Now, it's going to be a different accessory bar depending on if you have the medium off-grid or the large off-grid. They both work the exact same way. The only difference is going to be the length. So let's take a look at all those different features. This is a exact replacement for the accessory bars you can find on your Yakima off-grid roof basket. So you can get one to either add to your basket or to replace the pre-existing one that you already have. Let's take a look at the way to install it. So see this tiny little hex tool? This comes included with your accessory bar and this is going to be what's used to tighten these down. This is a special security tool since it has a hole in the middle so you can't just use any random hex tool. But first things first, you need to loosen the bolt on the top of your bar. So once this bolt is completely loosened, be very careful because that bottom wedge is now going to pop out. You need to do this on both sides because with that wedge out of the way, you're now able to place the bar onto your off-grid basket, put that wedge right back in, and then tighten it down. Before you tighten down your bars though, make sure that you have it at the crossbar spread you want it to be at. Now remember, different accessories require a different crossbar spread. If you want to use this for a bike rack, sometimes they require a crossbar spread about 15 to 20 inches apart. What I'm going to do right now is put it at 15 inches apart. Since I have the medium basket, I don't have as much length to work with. This is going to be a lot easier if you have the longer or the larger baskets. Once you have both sides tightened down, that's it for the install. Don't lose your hex tool in case you want to change your accessory bars later. The weight it adds to your roof basket. So this accessory bar is going to weigh 2.65 pounds for the medium version. If you have the bar that goes on the long basket, that's going to be a little bit more at around a bit over three pounds. The bar is about an inch in diameter and this is designed to be used with your special Yakima accessories. So we have those different kits, we have those different brackets, so make sure to follow those and make sure that they fit around your round accessory bar and that they're not designed for square or arrow bars. The construction is similar to your off-grid basket. So just like your basket, you have a good solid steel construction with that black powder coat finish. What I did notice though, is as we have it outside, it's out in the elements, we have cargo on there, scratches can develop. So I do recommend going over them with a black paint pen just to maintain that finish and corrosion resistance. So final things to remember is make sure you get the correct accessory bar for the correct basket. The medium basket is going to be 40 inches long. The large basket's accessory bar is going to be 49 inches long. Also, don't forget to keep your tools used to tighten this down in a nice, safe and secure place. It's really small, really easy to lose, so store it wisely. And that was a look right here at our accessory bar for your Yakima off-grid baskets here at eTrailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.